everyone. My name is Angie Jaber, and I'm the Deputy Athletics Director and SWA here at Lynn. Today, I'm gonna to speak to you about some, a topic that is near and dear to my heart, and that's mental health. And what I wanna focus on today specifically is mindfulness. I coached Division I and Division Three basketball for about six years. And now as an administrator, mental health is something that has continued to be very important to me. Stress comes completely from the outside. It's not internal. So when we allow outside forces to stress us out or to give us anxiety, we're giving away our power. So take this time to center yourself mentally. As I mentioned, I'm not a mental health expert, but as a former college athlete and coach, and now as an administrator, there's nothing more important to me than you and your mental health. Mindfulness is being present with your thoughts and feelings, body sensations and surrounding environment. Mindfulness is without judgment. Mindfulness is realizing that you aren't calling the shots or even what comes next, but maintaining a calmness about whatever it is that comes next. So what I wanna do now is I wanna introduce you to the first phase of meditation, which is simply breathing. For any of you who have taken a yoga class, you know the importance of your breath. Perhaps you're getting ready to give a speech in class and you're feeling anxious. Simply breathing will help you calm your anxiety and worry. If you're interested in more meditation, all you need to do is simply turn to your iPhone or your iPad. There are many apps out there to help you with this very topic. The one we use today is called Calm. But during quarantine, these type of virtual apps these mindfulness and meditation apps have become increasingly popular with collegiate and professional sports. Because again, you're not alone. Everyone is experiencing stress and anxiety during this time in our country with a global health pandemic, civil unrest, racial inequality. You are not alone. Before we walk through other ways to be kind to your mind, let's talk a little bit about stress. So as I mentioned before, many of us feel stress. Several of you even mentioned in the chat that you're feeling stressed today. Stress doesn't come from the present moment. It comes from thoughts in your mind telling you how awful things can be or have been. So again, let me say that. I want you to really soak this in. Stress doesn't come from the present moment. It comes from thoughts in your mind telling you how awful things have been or how awful they could be. As human beings, we have a tendency to leave, live either in the past or in the future, worrying about past mistakes. You've heard it a million times. How often do you miss one shot and then it's in your head and you miss the next and the next and the next. What if we had the ability to simply let it go and live completely in the present knowing that you have practiced your sport hours and hours and hours on end and physically you're capable of executing the task. Let me share a statistic with you. 50% of our thoughts are negative and 85% of our thoughts are repetitive. So if half our thoughts are negative and almost all of our thoughts are repetitive, how difficult is it to overcome the negative thoughts that you're playing in your mind? Therefore, it's easy to see why the high performing athletes are so successful. They've developed an ability to get to a high performance state by getting rid of the negative thoughts and focusing solely on the action so that meditation and mindfulness can help you get to that high performance state. And that's why I wanted to share it with you today. Simply breathing can help calm your anxiety in those crucial moments and help you be successful. According to the Center of Disease Control, the following are ways to be kind to your mind. We just did the first one today. 
pause and breathe. All we did today was pause and breathe, but that's the first step in being kind to your mind. The second, and I know you guys aren't gonna like this, but take breaks from social media. You really have to stop the comparison game. And constantly being on social media and comparing to others. You know, do people often post their difficult struggles on social media? No, they post the highlight reel. So again, take breaks from social media. Take care of your body. I'm so happy that you're all able to return to activity in one way, shape, or form, whether it's strength and conditioning with Zach, practice with your team. That's important to take care of your body and also make sure you're getting enough sleep. That's a big part of taking care of your body that we could spend a whole nother session talking about. Reach out and stay connected. Stay connected to your parents or your guardians and loved ones. Stay connected to your teammates. Reach out on the phone, give a call, and seek help when needed. That's what I started off my talk with you about, is everything has changed about mental health. There are so many people willing to help you that were never available to many of us when we were student athletes. Mental health is just as important as physical health. Here at Lynn, we have several resources for you if you or a teammate is struggling with mental health. The most important thing to do is to tell someone, tell your coach, tell your athletic trainer, come see me, call the counseling center. You can set up a Zoom session, you can call, you can even scan the QR code to make an appointment. Please remember that we're all experiencing stress and anxiety, but it's how you deal with that that will help you get through the tough times.